Hey, it's Amanda, and I just wanted to come to you real quick. I'm just getting out of church, and um, I just wanted to share with you real briefly. You know, pray, get in agreement with God. You know, um, prayer is vitally important to our existence as believers, and prayer is something that cannot be ignored. As a matter of fact, in 1 Thessalonians 5, the Bible instructs us to pray without ceasing. So regardless of what the situation is, if you feel like you've fallen into a pit, if you feel like things are great, if you feel like you're up high, if you feel like you're down low, it doesn't matter. You must pray. We are called to pray. Pray, pray, pray. Pray, 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 and pray some more. One could put a thousand to flight, two could put ten thousand to flight. I would even take it as far as to say, get in agreement with somebody in prayer, but make sure that you're in agreement with God. Because see, the enemy will try to attack when there's no prayer in place. You know why? Because we got to speak to that mountain. Why? Because we got to call things that be not as so they were. This is vitally important to pray. Get in agreement with God. Don't t don't say what you see. Say what God says. It doesn't mean you're in rebellion. It doesn't mean you're in denial. It doesn't mean that you're going crazy. What it means is that you got to pray because the thing that God's about to do during this time is going to take a miracle. It's going to take the power of prayer. It's going to take petition in heaven. It's going to take saying thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. I'm telling you right now that you must get in a place of prayer that's what the Lord spoke to me. Get in prayer. Come on now. This ain't the time to get down low. This ain't the time. Hallelujah. This ain't the time to get in a corner and let the enemy bush you and brace you down. This is the time to get in prayer. This is the time to get in agreement with God. Now, if God said, it's I, even I, that blots out your transgressions for my own name's sake and your sins and iniquities, I will remember no more. Put me in remembrance of my word. Plead together and declare that thou be as justified. Then that's what you need to do. If God said, it's cast into the sea of forgetfulness then that's what you need to believe. You need to get in agreement with God. I don't care what man said. I don't care what people are talking behind your back. God said his mercies are new every morning. Great is his faithfulness. His compassions fail not. God said, whoever will call on the name of the Lord, our God shall be saved. Let God be true and every man be a liar. It's time to pray, my friend. It's time to pray, my sister. It's time to pray, my brother. Why? Because we must get in agreement with God. Don't repeat what you hear people saying if it's not lining up to what God said. Even if you don't believe it, faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Meditate on that word. Open up your mouth and speak it. Go to a bathroom stall somewhere. Are you saying what the Joneses are saying? Are you saying what the gossipers are saying? Are you saying what the backbiters are saying? Or are you saying what God said? Because he's going he's gonna to respond to our words. He said angels hearken to the voice of his word. Yeah, the, the voice of the Lord is going to divide the flames of fire. I'm telling you right now, I don't know what you're going through today. But God is about to fix it. God is about to open up another portal of blessing. God is about to acquit you. God is about to say not guilty. Why? Because you're going to get in agreement with God. Why? Because you're going to make yourself of no reputation. I don't know about you folks, but I'm going to say what God said. You know why? I cannot say what everybody else is saying. I can't say what everybody else is projecting. But one thing I can say is that if God be for me, who can be against me? Another thing I'm going to say, hallelujah. And what shall I say to these things? Hallelujah. If God be for me, who can be against me? I'm going to say it over. I'm going to put my prayer on loop. I'm going to put my prayer on repeat. Because see, the enemy wants to put your mistakes on loop. He wants to put it on repeat. He wants to mull it over and over and over through your mind. He wants your mind to do a tailspin. But I'm telling you right now, if you would just get in agreement with God, if you would just pray, 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 that thing will turn around. The devil is a defeated foe. No weapon formed against you shall be able to prosper. Don't worry what they're saying. You better get into agreement with God that's a word for somebody and he said touch not my anointing and do my prophets no harm Oh yeah, you better say what God said. He said in Proverbs 26, 27, whoever digs a pit will fall in it. You better tell the devil, devil, back off. Get thee behind me, Satan. He who is without sin cast the first stone. You know why? Because we're going to get in agreement with God. Mm-hmm. That's right. We're going to say what God said. And when you say what God said, it's going to turn around. There's not a witch. There's not an imp. There's not a warlock that can stand against God's word. Oh yeah, God's word is powerful. Oh yeah, God's word will divide that flame of fire. Oh yeah, God's word, hallelujah, he will destroy the cancer report. God's word, hallelujah, will cancel the death sentence. God's word, hallelujah, will turn that thing around. God's word will reunite you with your family. Say what God is saying, but make sure you pray. God will sit the thief that comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Yeah, I'm talking about them demons that have been following you home. God's about to shut them down. He said he won't 
do wickedly. He said he won't pervert judgment. He said my people will never be ashamed. Is that thing causing you shame? Well, God's about to shut it down. Yeah, 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 his word is forever settled in heaven. Oh yeah, we about to pray. Oh yeah, we about to get in agreement with God. Oh yeah, he about to turn that situation around. Oh yeah, he's about to reveal all truth because God ain't playing. He said the kingdom of God is not just in word but in power. He's no respecter of person. All you got to do is get in agreement with God. My friend, make sure you take the time to pray. Shalom.